Okay, this is Adobe After Effects and this is how I made the Magic Carpet video clip. First of all, I made a new composition, set the sizes and things um, that I needed. I give it a name, I'll call it Carpet. And then in here I'm going to load into my project all the files that I need. So I'll right click here and import a file. And I'm going to import the video file of me on the messing around on the carpet and also the picture um, of the carpet itself. Okay, so I'm loading these two files. The first file is the Magic Carpet um, video. So let's just double click that. And you'll see that this is a video clip shot on um, a green screen. just fast forward that a little bit. So there's me on the green screen messing around as if I'm on a magic carpet. Okay so I'm just going to clip out a few seconds of that video just maybe starting about there. Just set the end point for the video and then I'll set the end point maybe um, let me see about there in the timeline. Set the out point. Okay, so that's done. Um, and I'll drag that clip down onto the timeline here so I can manipulate it. And you see that the video is a little bit big for the size of the project I'm working on. So I'm just going to scale that down so that it fits the screen. Uh, like so, don't stretch it too much. Okay, and then the first thing I want to do is get rid of all, all the green. So what I'm going to do is apply um, a keying effect. So here's all the different effects and things that we can add to video. So I'm going to go to uh, Keylight 1.2, which is a great plugin which allows you to remove colours. So I'll drag that down and drop it on the video. And here's all the settings for Keylight. First thing I do is um, I zoom into the video a little bit here. Is I'm going to select the colour that I want to remove from the video. Okay, so I'll pick the eyedropper and then just click on this green colour and you see it almost immediately does a good job at getting rid of most of the, the green. You just need to make a few adjustments and things there. I'll drag in this slider and all the green is removed from this, this video. Okay, now I'm going to add the um, magic carpet. So I'll drag and drop that onto the timeline here as well. Just align that. And again, this clip um, this picture is too big for the scene, so I'm just going to make it a bit smaller. Let's just resize that if I can. Okay, it's just been a bit slow and unresponsive at the moment. Let me just get that. Um, we need to zoom out a little bit more. Okay, I'm just going to resize that down like so. And then I zoom in and we'll just place the carpet underneath my feet like that and we'll add a, a special distortion effect to the to the carpet to make it look as though it's moving in the in the wind okay so I'm going to distort here and I'm going to choose wave warp I'll drag and drop that onto the, the carpet and here is all the settings on the left hand side for this wave warp I'm going to make it move in that direction and I'm going to increase the wave width like so and you get a little preview of what this is going to look like okay so there's the video there and if I press play you get a little preview of what the video will look like so there's me on the carpet and it's kind of moving in the wind okay so the final thing to do here is to export the video so I'll choose file and export export add to render queue and then down here, if I look at the render queue, I can tell it that I want to save this as a flash video with alpha. Now, alpha means it will um, have transparency in it. So all the bits that were green in the original video will be saved um, as transparent. So when I open it up in flash and um, import the video into flash, you'll be able to see the background through the video. And all I do is render this video and save it.